Okay. So we started um, this season, this harvest season, this high holiday season, this wonderful season with Rosh Hashanah. Um, and then we moved to Yom Kippur. And then we moved to Sukkot. And we've been in a uh, in a tabernacle of Sukkot. And today is a combination of that. So today and tomorrow, we conclude. Today, technically, is the conclusion. Nightfall today until tomorrow is the conclusion of the high holidays of 2023-5784. So right now, on sun, uh, at sunset, we are starting um, the, uh, the, 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 the day that we honor the Torah. The day that we celebrate the Torah, the day that we receive the the um, the Holy Word of God on Mount Sinai, we receive it twice actually on a tablet. Okay, God has been giving us His Word since creation. We were created by His Word. Creation came forth by His Word. Okay, we human being, the Word was released as a desire. Let us create, okay? So he wanted us to create. We were also created by the word, but he took the sand and he manifested his desire that he expressed, and then he blew the spirit in it. So, where, so you know, we started with a desire that was expressed verbally. So we also were created by the word and then manifested through the, the, you know, the earth and the breath, all right? So the word started there and he never stopped giving his word. Even tomorrow, he will not stop giving his word. The word started with us, started before us, but as he relate to us, his creation, the word started from the beginning there, you see? So, we are celebrating the word, why? Because we cannot live without his word. His word even says that men shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. Amen. Drop that. Every word. Sorry, my dog mm. is getting in trouble. Oh, the baby. <laughs> Yeah, he's getting older and older, almost. Oh, yeah, he's gonna be one in February, so he's getting older. So the word, without the word, we we are not, and with with the word, we are everything. Uh -huh. We can do all things through Christ, who strengthened us. What, who is Christ? Christ is the word made flesh. Mm -hmm. Christ is the word made flesh. So we can do all things through the word. So this celebration that is coming up very soon, start with, um, yeah, it's a celebration to lift up the word of God, celebrate the word of God, celebrate the giving of the Torah, celebrate the life we live through the Torah, celebrate the, the, the Torah made flesh walking and living among us, celebrate the, the resurrection of the Torah, celebrate the, the victory the Torah had over sin and darkness. Mm -hmm. This is what this holiday is about. This is mm. what the conclusion of a high holiday is about. Can you imagine? This is, I mean, I don't know why we are even paying attention to the Gregorian feast. I right, think this exactly. feast that these feasts are so glorious. When you pay oh. attention to the feast of the Lord, they are exactly. so glorious. Exactly. They are so glorious. The way it is celebrated. The Torah, everyone gets to dance with the Torah. Everyone, because oh, yeah. the Torah is written on parchment and it is rolled up in two huge sticks. And it, it's, it's big to carry. Uh -huh. So 
when you carry some Torah a foot long, some are maybe no foot, no, three feet long. <laughs> wow. Some high. So when you carry them, it's like you are literally carrying a a a, a six or a five or six year old. You see what I mean? Not a toddler. Toddler is too small, but a five, six, seven year old. It's like you're carrying that in your arm. Mm -hmm. That's how because the Torah, that that structure is big and it's is is parchment. It's not that I don't I I never carried it, but when you see it carried it, it takes a part, it takes the it's higher than a average man height and it goes all the way to the mid of the tie. Mm -hmm. so get a chance to do a presentation so you, yes, you don't see it yeah but that's the way it looks like i can share a screen to show you something mm -hmm. real quick let me do that yeah. i think that would be a great thing to do let's do um Okay, so, all right, I'm going to share screen, my screen and we're going to see, this is, it is, it is exuberant, it is, it, it is elaborate, it is exuberant, it's, it's, it's just, how can, it's just amazing, it is just amazing, and um, the singing, the dancing, the, you know, the, um, I love it. I love it. And, you know, people don't realize that when they have certain movements, it actually has meaning. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. Let me, we're going to get a short version of it because I just want to share a little bit. The the and 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 this this uh special this special um celebration is equated to the wedding the wedding. Mm -hmm. So we are made we we are dancing with with our bridegroom because we are the bride. Okay. I wanted it more, but I'm going to have to use an orthodox one to just show. I'm trying to see one with the Torah in it. These are different kind. I have to check one with the Torah. Torah dedication and dancing. Okay, we're just going to take a couple of minutes of this one. Let me see. I want to see them dancing. I don't know if this is what this is, or this is something totally different. Huh. Okay, that's the one. That's the one I was looking for. All right, so let me share my screen now. Okay. So, so. Someone would be saying, why are you, why are you an African trying to do the Jewish people stuff? <laughs> you don't understand that every Muslim on the face of the earth is an Arab. Huh. Yeah, because every Muslim, if a Muslim was born I don't know if Lovette is still connected and she's gonna she can she can uh how do you call that? She can attest to what I'm saying. So I'm here. But even if you are Basa, you are, you know, you are Baule, you are you are uh I don't know, Ethiopian, Cameroonian, uh French, whatsoever you are. Once you are a Muslim, you live like an Arab, 
you 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 name your children with Arabic name. Exactly. You change your name. You change your name from uh, uh, Jean Poirot as a yeah. as a Frenchman to uh, yeah. Mohammed something. Ibrahim Ismail. Ibrahim something. And mm -hmm. all your children, you name them like that. Ishmael this, Ibrahim that, uh, you know, you name them Arcano. this. Yeah, you name them. yeah. And when people arrive in your home and they, 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 they see the makeup of your house, this is one of the things we're going to talk about one time. The makeup of your house has emblems of Arab living because they're going to see praying mat on the floor. They're going to see uh, the, the, the um, how do you call this? The kettle. Uh, that they the kettle. You're going to see the praying kettle. You're going to see the washing bowl. You're going to see um, uh, uh, food, the tea. Everything the same as they live there. All of them meet in Mecca. All of them wear the same clothing in Mecca. They do the same pilgrimage uh, uh, walk in Mecca. Whether you are a Chinese man, an African man, a European, an American, if you say you are a Muslim, you have a life that matches a, another Muslim from the end of the earth. This is what I talked about last Sunday. Because when you are spouse to someone, you honor that spouse by the lifestyle, the lifestyle you adopt. People who do Buddha do the same thing. When you enter a, a Buddhist house, it's like a mini Buddhist temple. That's so interesting. The, 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 the way you your shoes are displayed. I'm sorry. Even, even the nail you're salon, right you're right on target. You enter a Muslim's house, you you see it, you get it. Yes. The Buddha, yes. same thing. Same that thing. You go to a Buddha house. They have a way that dispose their furniture. Some don't even have furniture because they sit on the floor with the the, the, the leg cross. You have the you have the uh, the statue is disposed one way. You go to another house, that's where you're gonna find it because they do it. I think they call it a feng shui or whatever it is. They do it that way. The whole house is disposed of the feng shui way of living. Whether the person is a is a, is an um in an African, a Chinese, an American, Buddhist do the same thing. Only the be believers of Yeshua that are scattered, scattered, you cannot tell who they are. You enter the house. You can't tell. You can't tell the house is no different than an atheist house. The house is no different than a, 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 a heathen house. They eat the same food as a heathen eats. They dance the same dance. They do. <laughs> Only the believer in, in Yeshua that got transformed into Jesus Christ. May the Lord help us. May he help us. May he help us. Endure us forever. <laughs> so let's go and see how the Torah is celebrated. So this is literally hugging Jesus, loving Jesus, because he is the Torah made flesh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see the structure I was saying, how big it is. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. I touched the screen. Touch the screen. Okay. They took it outside now.
People will say, this is idolatry. But you're supposed to, to, who are you supposed to idolize? If, it, if you don't idolize Yeshua, who are you gonna idolize? And uh, uh, what's his name again? Jay-Z? <laughs> so this is the bride renewing her vow with her groom. Because the Torah is our vow, is our uh, marriage contract. So it's like each year taking time out to go to I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is what it is. So I just wanted to share that. We can stop here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, okay, this is what I wanted to do. Okay, so they have more elaborate, um, more elaborate celebration, but this is pretty much what it is. They take the Torah out some uh, in the neighborhood, they yeah, they, they 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 share the joy of the Torah with the community. They have special dishes. They have special food. They celebrate the giving of the Torah. They celebrate the you know the 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 Torah, the living water, and all of that. Now, um, like I was saying last Sunday, the festival of Scott is one week, and each day of that week. They, they they get a procession with the, the trumpet and everything just like is they were doing in the video and they'll go down to the mikvah they get the water and they come and they do the libation of water and wine on the altar and um they do that once a day and celebration feasting eating rejoicing goes on oh. under the tabernacle under the the sukkot under the the the, the hoopah, really literally um, which is the um, the structure that the bride and group stand under to get married. So it's equate to that. It equate to the uh, uh, the bed chamber that the bridegroom um, carry it takes his bride in to consummate the marriage. This is all of that that is going on. It's a celebration. It's like uh, it's it's equated to a marriage ceremony. So they do that once each day and the seventh day which start um uh, in a few moment they do that seven times that day so it's like when they were trying to destroy the the, um, the walls of jericho they went around it one time one day each day for six day and the seventh day they went around it ten, uh, uh, seven times and the wall came down so the the celebration here is lifting up our i don't know our everything in the lord the power he gave to us through the torah mm -hmm. the love is showing to us in the torah the salvation that torah brought to us 
the faithfulness and the, the upholding that is doing to us every single day because mm -hmm. of the covenant of the Torah. The marriage vows that is inside the Torah that is speaking to us every single day. Mm -hmm. From Genesis 1-1 to John 3-16, through the song, through the song of Solomon, through mm. the walk and his faithfulness with all the high moments with the prophets, through coming to dwell with us as flesh and blood looking like us in the Gospels. Mm -hmm. Through revealing himself spiritually supernaturally you know saying things that were going on in the time he was on earth and revealing things that will go on when he comes back all of that at each moment a highlight of our life amen it is a fabric of who we are spiritually and manifested physically because it did not stay a spirit mm -hmm. this is the thing that we need to pay attention to it didn't stay a spirit telling his children what to do with those seasons in Leviticus 23 well Exodus one of the, I think it's I think it's Leviticus twenty three, if I'm not mistaken, where he gave us the seven feasts. Yes, it was. It, you're right. It's Leviticus twenty three. So he didn't just stay a spirit speaking to Moses from the top of the mountain to the 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 the, 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 the temple the the, the the tabernacle through being manifesting as a. a a, a a pillar of fire or a, a pillar of 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 um a cloud of a pillar of cloud in a day mm -hmm. he did not stay supernatural and spiritual manifesting as wind and and water he decided to come flesh and blood, living in brick and mortar, mm -hmm. eating fish and roasting it, making breakfast himself to tell us that, let me show you how real this covenant of marriage is. It's mm -hmm. not a, 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 a story, a, how do you call that? A fairy tale story. It's not a spiritual goosebump, goose, goosebump experience. No, it is it, as true as you see yourself, flesh and blood, I exist. I am that is I am. Mm -hmm. Anywhere you stand to talk about your identity, it is me you professing to mm -hmm. say. I am you. I am you. And you are in me, I am in you, I am you, you are me. Yes, Lord. One. It's not just a spiritual and a supernatural experience or expression. It is a natural manifestation of your daily life. I am in it. I am in you and your husband coming together. This is holy. That experience is holy. You eating food is holy. You bearing a child is holy. You reading the Bible is holy. You going to school is holy. All of that that is about you is holy because I am you and you are in me. Your whole life is holy because I am holy. Mm -hmm. That's a word manifest. That's a word we are celebrating. We are celebrating the holy word. Becoming flesh, making it palpable, making it practical, making mm -hmm. it physical. Holy 
and sanctifying every single area of our lives, even becoming intimate. It's sanctified. It's holy. Eating, using the bathroom is holy. Mm -hmm. Because I'm doing it with you. Because I purpose your body to have that need. <laughs> that if Amen. you don't do, you become sick. Who thinks of this? Thank you. If that's you don't good. do, you become sick. Yeah, that's right. So your health depends on that very act. And I purpose it that way. So everything about you is holy. Because I, the word, became flesh to make you holy in your flesh. To make you righteous through me. This is the dancing of the Torah. The dancing with the Torah. This is what happened in the culmination of the high holidays. Hallelujah. We have to start seeing ourselves a little differently. We have to start seeing our lives differently. We are not just going our way, doing this, that, and the other, and then we remember, oh, today I have to think about holiness because it's Sunday, because it's Thursday, because, oh, the watch starts, so let me start praying and be in the spirit. And then after <laughs> that, I can, I can, after that, I can, I can, I can act anyhow I want. I can, and, you know, use fa profound word, use far word, use, you know, no. He said, let me tell you who you are. You belong to me. And you don't belong to me as a stranger, as a piece of furniture. I went, I purchased and I put it in my living room. And when you come in my living room, you know this is a dining table. No, this is not how you belong to me. Mm -hmm. You belong to me because I became you and you became me. Right. That's you right. belong to me because we are one. Not just a spiritual matter, but a physical, natural, practical, mortal, and brick matter. Yep. We are one. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, during this time, we read uh, the Two, two chapters of Exodus, actually it's from verse 30, but we're going to read the two chapters and then we're going to close. So if anybody has the Bible that can read for us, Caroline, can you read? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, what What is it? What? Exodus chapter 14. Exodus chapter 14. Hmm? And what uh, we can 14. start with verse one. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is Exodus 14, King James Version. Mm -hmm. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel that they turn and encamp before Pi Haroth between Migadel and the sea over against Baal Zephon before it shall ye encamp us by the sea. For Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel, they are entangled in the land and the wilderness has shut them in. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart and he shall follow after them. And I will be honored upon Pharaoh and upon all his host. And the Egyptians may know that I am the Lord and they do so. And it was told the king of Egypt that the people fled in the heart of Pharaoh and of his servant was turned against the people and they said why have we done this that we have let israel go from serving us and he made ready his chariots and he took people with him and he took 600 chosen chariots and all the chariots of egypt and captains over every one of them and the lord hardened the heart of pharaoh king of egypt and he pursued after the children of israel 
and the children of Israel went out with a high hand. The Egyptians pursued a- after them, and all the horse of the chariots of Pharaoh and his horsemen and his army overtook them and accompanied encamping by the sea beside Phiharoth before Baal-Zephon. And when Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptian marched after them. And they were sore, uh, so afraid, and the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord. And they said unto Moses, Because there were no graves in Egypt, hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? Wherefore hast thou dealt with us? us with thus with us to carry us forth out of Egypt is not this the word that we did tell thee in Egypt saying let us alone that we may serve the Egyptians for it has been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in the wilderness and Moses said unto people fear ye not stand still and see the salvation of the Lord which he will show you, show to you to today. For the Egyptians whom ye shall have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall yeah. hold your peace. Peace. Amen. Continue. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore cry thou unto me, speak unto the children of Israel, that they go forward. But lift thou up thy rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea and divide it. And the, and the um, children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. And, be, and I, behold, I will harden their hearts of the Egyptians and they shall follow them. And I will get me honor upon Pharaoh and upon all his hosts, upon his chariots and upon his horsemen. And the Egyptians shall go no, shall know that I am the Lord yes, when right. I have gotten me honor upon Pharaoh, upon his chariots and upon his horsemen. And the angel of God, which went before the camp of Israel, removed went and went behind them. And right. the pillar of the cloud went from before there a face mm-hmm. and stood behind them. Okay. And it came. Was, you can, okay. you can stop there for now. Okay. Okay. So. We know this story so well, but what we are celebrating, okay, is the victory of the word, the power of the word, the presence of the word, the manifestation of the word. We are celebrating the Torah. Amen. Amen. And in the time of Moses or prior to that, the Torah was speaking to us in a spirit, in spirit and in power. Okay? He comes in and his voice is released. You don't see a person. Okay. But some of them, in the time of Moses, okay, before Moses, you had you had mm-hmm. Abraham, you had Isaac. You had uh, Israel, Israel, um, Abraham had an encounter to hear the voice of, of God. He he welcomed the three mm-hmm. uh, angels. So he encountered physical angels. Mm-hmm. Uh, Israel himself wrestled with one. So physically he had to encounter one. So we see that prior to Moses, there were angels that came mm-hmm. and manifested. Okay. Abraham also encountered Melchizedek. See? Mm-hmm. So in it in when but when Moses received the word, he received the word with a a, a deeper a, um what can I say relationship a deeper dimension. Moses received the word as a marriage contract, as a contract. He was hearing just like Abraham. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh But he saw the manifestation of the word in signs and wonders. Amen. 
in signs and wonders be, more than anyone prior. The one that got the signs and one, wonders that could, I don't know if it's higher. I think, uh -huh. I think in the dimension was Noah. He spoke a word and signs and wonder manifested before Noah. And because of the ob obedience of Noah, Noah saw signs and wonder manifest. He saw the rain that came. He saw the boat that floated on the rain. And he saw when the rain subsided. And he saw that every living thing were dead. Mm -hmm. That's signs and wonder. So the word came, the word manifesting signs and wonder. So in the time of Abraham, the word came, the word manifested in physical angels. And he saw signs and wonder because brimstone fell in Sodom and Gomorrah. He spoke to God physically. When he was negotiating the fate of Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. but when he moved to Moses now, he gave Moses another dimension. He gave Moses in addition to, okay, the word coming forth, speaking, in addition to signs and wonder, okay, in addition to... um. His manif manifestation, he mm -hmm. gave a contract. So the word now was written on a contract on tablets. So it was a binding contract of a relationship that took the level, took that relationship in a deeper level. So you have you have Adam and Eve, and then you reach you reach um 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 what's his name Enoch that pleased God and he was no longer. Then you reach Abraham, who was hand selected, picked by God, and you see all of his interact interaction with God until you reach Moses. And then when you get to Moses, there is a dimension. The dimension is the written Torah, the written word. Amen. The written word that brings, it's like the consummation of the relationship. It's like mm -hmm. the solidification of that relationship. I am no longer showing you, I'm no longer um, bringing you all of these gifts like, like a, a surah that manifesting himself with, you know, giving gifts. He brings flowers. He brings all of this stuff. He's showing himself. He's talking. He's bringing all of his game. He's a game in talking, convincing you that he is the guy for you. All of this, all of this, all of this. You are mesmerized. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Then, when you finish being mesmerized, you say, okay, let's solidify this thing. Let's go to the altar. Let's get this serious. And then you get married and then you have a marriage contract. Then in our case, he did not stay spiritual. He came to physically be in a metamorphosis. Like, they say the two of them would make one flesh. The two of them will make one flesh. In Ephesians, um, what's his name? Paul told us that for this reason, the man will leave his father and mother. He will cling to his wife. And the two will no longer be twain, but there would be one flesh. And the verse continued by saying, and I am not speaking about a man and a woman. I'm speaking about Christ and his church. Do you know that verse? Is anybody there or? 
I, I'm here. I, oh. I left a little message. I, oh, I only have a few. Okay. I only, only have a few minutes here. Oh, okay, no problem. Thank you for yeah. that. We won't be any longer anyway. But, okay. Yeah, but that's pretty much what it is. So mm -hmm. when, so when when the two of them became flesh, okay, he had to become flesh for his church and him to be one flesh. Mm -hmm. Are we together? Yep. Okay. So he, he so by becoming flesh now, he he came and and um um in the in the in the um latter latter covenant, he he literally extended this marital covenant into what we call the new covenant by becoming flesh with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we go to verse 30 and it says, Thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of Egyptian, and Israel saw the Egyptian dead upon the seashore. And Israel saw that great work which the Lord did upon the Egyptian, and the people feared the Lord and believed the Lord and his servant Moses. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and the rider, hallelujah, he has Amen. the sea. The Amen. Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. I don't know how they turn this, but he is my God. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is a man of war. Na 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 na. That's the song. It's a it's a song of a spirit in, of of a ministry. It's right mm -hmm. there in the YouTube channel. But that's the song they sang. The death have covered them. They sang into the bottom as mm -hmm. a story. Hallelujah. Thy right hand, the Lord is has become glorious. In power, the mm. right hand, O Lord, has dashed in pieces the enemy. And in mm -hmm. the greatness of thine excellency, thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee. You see, verse 7 says what? And in the greatness of your excellency, you have overthrown those who rose up against you. You, sentenced, you sent forth your wrath which consumed them as stubble. Now, it did not say the one who, who rose up against us. He said the one who rose up against you. Why? Because Israel is his firstborn. Israel is a just people. Israel is him and he is Israel. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's stop here for today. We might continue another time. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your word. 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 I know, um, Caroline, I don't know if you can still talking or not, but um, husband came home me to go. Okay, I understand. I don't know. I think Lovette is no longer connected. Is she still connected? I'm here, but about to step out because of Makela's tutoring session is about to start in less than five. Oh, okay, okay. So um um, I just want to take um comment or question, and we can close or prayer point actually. And we can close. Any prayer point? Oh, well, firstly, I want to thank you, Lord, for. Uh... <laughs> um, thank you so much for this session it was really really good a lot of um, nuggets a lot of things for us to learn 
And um, my prayer request is just to pray for more strength and yes. for the Lord to guide us. Okay. Caroline, um, we pray the Lord for your family, your husband, and your health. I know you're busy. You have to, you need to go. And uh, let us pray for all the sick people that we know. Uh, I pray for uh, uh, Kadianin. I pray for my, um, uh, for Wubi, my clinging lady. Lady, I pray for um, uh, my brother-in-law, Nyas, and my sister-in-law, uh, Carol, his wife, who has not been feeling well lately. I pray that the Lord mercy visit those people. I pray that the Lord mercy grant them health. I pray that the Lord mercy turn their health around. I pray that the Lord mercy strengthen them. I pray healing. I declare healing. I say the mercies of the Lord release healing in the name of Jesus. I pray now for love. Father Lord, I lift up your princess unto your throne of grace. You have held her through Reba Papa for this time. Reba Papa, she's asking for strength. We pray 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 for strength in the name of Jesus. From the crown of her head to the sole of her feet, we pray for strength. We pray for strength in the name of Jesus. Reba Papa, 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 we pray for Caroline's health. We pray for her family. We pray for love, peace. We pray for the hand of God to be on this family. We pray for the blood of Jesus to continually speak on their behalf. We pray for Caroline and her family. We pray now for all the watchmen. Father, we lift them up. We say, Father, let your spirit flow. Let it flow from watch to watch. Let your word be released. Let each person that needs to receive the word, let us not miss our, our word. Father, quicken us to attend the watch that you are will set aside for us let us receive the word in season out of season and let your word go forth in this time of high holiday celebration in this day of well, fellowshipping honoring lifting up the torah father let your word do mightily ever than before let your word go forth and fulfill exactly what you sent it forth to do. Let no word fail to the ground. We give you glory, honor, and praise. Father, continue to work in our heart, in our mind, in our families, in our children, in our marriages. Lord, at work, in our workplace, in our work environment. Lord, we ask that. You visit us and that your mercy endure us forever for our good, on our behalf, for our sake. Lord, we give you glory, honor, and praise. I cover all of these prayers with the blood of Jesus. I say Shabbat Shalom. Let your spirit flow. Let your spirit flow. Let your spirit flow. It's a special day, Papa. Touch us specially. Visit us specially. Be in any watch, every watch specially. Come and flow, Spirit of the Living God. Flow, Spirit of the Living God. Flow, Spirit of the Living God. <laughs> From watch to watch. Flow, Spirit of the Living God. We give you glory, honor, and praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you all for connecting. Have a uh, anointed watch, Lovette and Caroline. Let your watches be anointed and all other watches. Have a good 
time um, ministering to people. And I pray that the Lord continue to manifest himself. In Jesus' name, amen.